Hi, Jimmy Anderson here. Today I want to talk you through an outswinger. Okay, so tip number one is how you hold it. Um, and I try and tilt the seam towards what would be first slip. Put my fingers straight down the seam with the shiny side pointing towards the off side. Uh, and then hopefully it'll swing away. Tip number two would be cocking your wrist like that. That will lock your fingers into that position and again help that ball to swing away. So the release point is also important for our swing. Um, I love to use my front arm to aim at the target. So if that goes at the target, then hopefully this arm will follow down that same line and it'll come out pretty accurate. So the run-up's really important as well. I think it's important to increase your momentum as you get to the crease, not too quick. Gradually increase your pace so we've got influent momentum when you get to the crease. A really good tip at home, if you've got a cricket ball, is to flick the ball up in your hand and that, that gives you a, the feeling of the release point uh, on your fingers. So for me, the outswinger, I try and think of my index finger coming off the ball last, so I can flick the ball up in my hand with the outswinger and try to imagine that finger coming off last, it works really well.